What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie here from Elevate Yourself. Welcome to sunny and historic Baltimore. We are here for the 2023 Nyman National Volleyball Tournament. I just landed from a very long red-eye flight at 7.30 a.m. and we're staying at the Lord Baltimore Hotel. Let's go check it out. To our double queen suite. Pretty spacious. Got some abstract art there. And we've got the legendary Joe Ball, the line bouncer from Dragonfire. You guys remember him? And as always, we gotta check out the bathroom. And it is clean and spacious. Now that we finally got settled in, we're pretty hungry, so we're gonna get some Afghan food. and see how it is. Mm, very tender, exactly like how I remember Afghan kebabs. Honestly, I think they make some of the best kebabs. Really strong garlic flavor. Look at the char on the edge of that one. Let's try the rice now. So the Afghan style rice has a little bit of cinnamon and spices and raisin. Really yummy. Now this is the chopped leg kebab, which is like a ground beef with, I think, jalapeno and green onion. Mm. Man, this place is on point. Pretty solid start to the trip. Yummy meal. Now it's time to stock up on drinks and snacks for tomorrow. So somehow this place serves pastries, congee, Korean fried rice, zucchini pancakes, and cha siu bao. I'm not sure what to make of that. So I got a cafe latte, try to keep me awake for the next eight hours. Pretty good, I don't like any adding sugar. I just like the natural foam and the flavor of the coffee. I'm gonna do some elevate work until the captain's meeting. This campus meeting I've ever been to, usually it's like two or three hours long because people like to ask unnecessary questions. But 45 minutes, and we got a major fan here. Coach Donnie, you're the best. How do I elevate myself? Teach me, teach me, teach me. Hello, wait. Hello, wait. Hello, wait. Hello, wait. We just finished our team meeting at 9 p.m. and went over all these details from the pools, working responsibilities, and other rules of the convention center and playing. Also got this cool swag gear from the NACIVT committee. And tomorrow we are wearing our green jerseys. Super sick. Thank you so much to one of our sponsors, All Volleyball, for hooking it up with our custom fuse jerseys here. Also House of Hustle for hooking up with our practice facility. And then Ghost Leaves for helping cover our tournament registration fees. If you want to buy your own volleyball gear, which includes shoes, shorts, jerseys, and other training equipment, make sure you use my discount code below to get 10% off all of your volleyball gear. And also, if you want to try your own knee sleeves or calf sleeves to play, especially if you're recovering from injury, I highly recommend Go Sleeves and use my discount code below to get 15% off all of their products. Everything went pretty smoothly. I feel pretty rested. Hopefully I can sleep tonight which unfortunately I usually don't because I get so excited about the tournament. And our goal is to try to make gold division in our first year of Go Go Ji, which is the Chinese name of the tall ones. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning everyone, couldn't sleep as usual. I think I tossed and turned like 30, 40 times, but that's just how it goes. I think I just get too excited, which is a good problem but bad problem because I'm gonna feel sleepy throughout the day and definitely not gonna play as 100% as I want when you're sleep deprived, but gotta make the best of it. I did pack the Dame 8s and I bought these brand new blue ones. Yep, yeah, cause I 
felt like these are a little bit springier compared to the way of weights. So there's those who have been following my volleyball shoe journey. I've been playing with the way of weights for the last four months, but just felt too stiff. My feet felt too sore. I didn't feel the same spring as I did with the daymates. So going back to these to get maybe one or two inches higher and just feel a little bit better when I'm landing. Cause when we play nine man, there's really no cushion. There's like sport court and then concrete. We're gonna see how these go throughout the tournament. I've also been wearing more leggings when I play volleyball just to help me stay warm throughout the day. It takes me a lot longer to warm up as I get older. Gonna check out some of these pastries downstairs. that I haven't opened yet. You said seven o'clock? Okay. Got my cafe latte. So we got an English muffin with chicken sausage. Gonna have to eat this as we walk though. Yes. What's the verdict? Good crisp. Yeah, I heard that one. Heard the crunch. Not bad. A little sweetness to the sausage. Sausage is a little dry, but the egg and the cheese and the English muffin is done very well. So there's an escalator there, but Joey and I decided to take the stairs just to get our quads warm, blood flowing. Got all these people gathering already. The zombie apocalypse. Yeah, it's like we're entering the Starship Trooper. This is super cool. We're entering the future. Yeah, that was way closer than it needed to be, but only 10 of our, actually only three of our guys have played nine men. So it was a new experience for them. I'm glad we actually were able to squeeze it out in three. I had to turn on Super Saiyan mode just to give us a little extra boost. And also the depth perception looking that way is really hard for those who haven't been playing in a big convention center like this one. So we just wrapped and then now we're gonna play Smash. I think it'll be a good opportunity for us to work in some other guys, get some experience. Also a good time to stay on top of my protein as I recover throughout the day and hydrate with some Gatorade. Tough match. We wanted to get all of our new guys just lots of experience, and what better way to get experience than against one of the best nine man teams? But that's just how it goes. I mean, your first time playing nine man, usually going to be something like that, even if it's not against a former national champion. But I heard they got jok, which is a, a rice congee for the convention center. It's really cool. The people who organized the event wanted to give more Chinese options since this is a Chinese volleyball tournament instead of just your usual chicken tenders and burgers. So I can't wait to try that out and also support some of the local food here. I think they got boba here. I'm just gonna get the bubble tea. Thank you. You're on my vlog.
Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Not bad for a convention center of boba. A little on the sweeter side, but I'm just grateful that they try to make something that people would drink according to what Asians prefer. So nice job, convention center. This is where they make the kanji. That texture of the kanji was actually spot on. It was interesting to put fish sauce in there. I think they kind of got a mix of Asian flavors because the pork belly was pretty good. Uh, but other than that, enjoyable. Got to get one up for the next match. Too close than it need to be. Uh, even though it was a young team, that wasn't as experience. You can lose to any team, especially a nine man. Especially when people catch fire, anything can happen. Especially since our team hasn't played a lot of nine man, we're losing points on kind of some mental errors of just inexperience, which is not in their control. So that's okay. But we luckily were able to finish that last one. So after we finished that game, we thought we were in the clear into gold power pool tomorrow because we finished second place and then someone checked the schedule and said we might have to play to even fight to be in power pool and we just waited an hour and a half for the other pools to finish to see if we're going to be in the challenge match and thank goodness we don't have to play because we're all cooled down thinking about what we're going to order at the Italian restaurant for dinner one in the shower we had to all come back and be ready to play so that was a uh, probably the most stressful part of the day not necessarily the playing part now we get to chill, 4.30 p.m. shower, and uh, eat some good food tonight. It's actually a beautiful sunny day in Baltimore here. Everyone is very happy that we don't have to play. <laughs> Tell you man, Kai's a restaurant tour. Dude, this is sick. Thanks, Kai. Five-star Kai, that's why I call him that. And I like, really like this Alfredo sauce. Most Alfredo sauces, it's just like butter and cream, but there's some depth of cheese and saltiness in this sauce. Try the chicken. Lightly grilled. Mm. Just a nice crust. Simple, nice char, pepper. Really good. So we decided to actually get some gelato because the milk tea looked a little suspicious. Can I get two spoons, please? Thank you. It is only 10.30 and I am dead tired. I think it's because I didn't sleep that well last night, but I think I'm going to knock out tonight. Today, we actually met our goal of going at least second place and I think we got fortunate with the pool that we got because we saw some of the other pools and they had some really tough teams. Smash was definitely our toughest opponent. Uh, Free Maces was pretty strong, they took us to three and then Toronto United was a younger team but even then it was still uh, too close for comfort but it was a good start for us and especially for all the guys that haven't played nine man before so excited for them to get lots of playing time today too. Tomorrow we are in a three team pool and we need to finish second in order to guarantee gold division for Monday. Starting tomorrow, unfortunately, it's gonna be a much more challenging to try to get the rest of our roster playing time. So hopefully we can manage that, but still win the games that we need to. Yeah, so if we get third place in our 
on our three team pool, we automatically get silver, which isn't the worst because we're still really good volleyball and silver. But you know, I think we're good enough to make gold and it's not gonna be easy, but if we make gold our first year, that'll be a huge accomplishment. So I'm gonna get some rest, digest this yummy Italian food, and we'll see you tomorrow.